Hi ladies and NBC, today I'll be announcing the winners for the contest, but before I do that, I'll be going through each one of them and, and saying my thoughts about them. So, I spent um, a lot of time yesterday, me and my brother spent a lot of time yesterday, going through each of the games and deciding which ones would be the winners, and I discovered that I'm not really good at a lot of them. He is gonna rage. I don't rage. Oh, darn. Ugh. <laughs> He's raging. But have I beaten your record, Michael? Oh! No, uh, Peter, I, I got past the whole part. Peter, the almost great. Like, really, really, I didn't... I couldn't beat half of them. Um, so, I'll also be going through them alphabetically. So, so the first one list to dig. This game was made by MC Diamond X. Before I explain this game, I'd like to just say that the frame rate for the recordings is a little bit lower because this was the only one that was in full screen. So, therefore, the, uh, my screen capture program couldn't record at the op optimal frame rate. Anyways, to dig is a Minecraft remake. He totally wasn't done done yet, so that explains why a lot of the features I'm missing. But the main thing that stuck out for me was that um, uh, the collisions need to be fixed. The collisions for the player were, were kind of off because you um, don't have a you need to have a square for the mask because like it's this way you can bounce yourself on your fingers, which we don't we don't want. That's that's just weird. And another thing is you didn't have any collisions for the gravel or the stone whatsoever. What I would recommend using parenting so you don't have to code the collisions for the blocks once. And that'll make things a lot easier on yourself. The next thing I'm talking about is a game called Aerial Combat. This game is made by Real Touch GML. You play as a helicopter, you fly this guy attacking other helicopters and and jets, and it, it, it's a pretty cool cool concept. I, I keep getting headshots, guys. I, I've killed everybody so far. Get more headshots. So I, I really like the graphics. You did a good job on the sprites, and the particle effects look nice as well. I also liked how you added the the boss. This is gonna be long. Um, that, that's a nice addition, and you even put the text text bubbles in the, to introduce the boss, which I thought was really cool. Uh, if, if one came over, you have 2 HP, you know that, right? The one thing that I'd say that you need to work on is the progression. If progresses progresses, the game gets steadily harder as you go on, but in my opinion, it's too steadily. Like, you'd add stuff as you go as you would go on, but I felt like there, there should be new, more nuance. You could have um, made the game shorter, and I, I feel like it would have been, been a little better. <laughs> <laughs> so much Next game I like to talk about is Awesome Face Adventures, submitted by Avatar Fanboy 98. It'll just Best. take skill. It's really hard to click. <laughs> now he's actually trying. <laughs> so this game you play as an awesome face, and you um. It starts out with with you having dodged a bunch bunch of balls flying flying at you, and then you then there's a mines part. And <laughs> That's how you, you guys haven't seen play, play through this yet, have you? Uh, it's funny this is being recorded because this is the only time you ever did. I made it, guys. Okay, just... Can I shoot? I, I want to okay, like just... spit at these things. Okay. And then there's this impossible part, which I I can only get get past like once. Is this one you just rage a bunch and it's annoying. Yeah, do you just get lucky every time? No, that was, that was like the second time I ever I never got this far before. And my brother got a little farther and I saw some other stuff that you put in there, so that was cool. What I liked about it is you had a lot of nuance, you kept adding new things as you progressed through the game. And the graphics and sound look good as well. I guess the one thing that I, w I w would say you need to fix is that there's sort of a difficulty spike where, where it gets a lot harder really quickly and then after that sort of from what I saw my brother playing, after that one part that I couldn't get past, it gets a lot, little easier. So I think maybe more, a little more pro progressive um, change in difficulty as you as you go on. Next is Hall of Death by Kalam001. Why? Why? <laughs> this game had a lot of nuance, which I liked. So you start off um, uh, navigating th away from a uh, bunch of pits, which you would if you which you would die if you fell in, and then you have to. They have to run, run away from these orbs while dodging spikes, and there's more more pits, and you have lasers as well. Ah, no, no, more of those things! There's more! I made a guy! Oh! No, look, there's spikes. There's spikes there. And I, I really liked it about that. And then you get this one impossible part, which I, I couldn't get past. Now I, press every, now I press every button to find the immunity spell. And neither of others could get past. And I, I don't even, I'm not even sure if it's possible to get past that part. I, I don't know. What that was for, but anyway, so it's a pretty pretty cool game. I think you um, could have worked a little more on the graphics, like you went with the standard gray gray background, which which I think if you you, you could have made that look a little bit nicer. But but overall, it's a fun game.
Next game is Space Cluster by Tor Bashify. This game, um, you fly through space and you dodge a bunch of stuff, and it, it had a lot of stuff coming at you, and I liked that. It reminded me of a game called T Tohau or something like that. That's a Japanese game where there's also a lot of stuff coming at you, and and it's it's, kind of, it's really tricky. So, um, I, I liked how you how you added so much stuff in there, and you put a lot of effort into adding all of that, because a lot of it like, um. It was almost overkill. It really, it wasn't qu quite overkill, but it, it was a lot. So I, I, I like that about it. And but the one thing I, I didn't like about it was that um, you didn't have any sense of progression. It started, and there, there was a lot, and then at, and then it, it progressed, and there was the same amount of stuff. It didn't add anything as you progressed. It didn't change anything. So there was no, there was no sense of achievement while, while you're playing the game. So I, um, I, th I really think you needed to fix, fix that. But the, but the graphics were good, and it, it was a pretty fun game. Next game is Spark by Spawn Gion. Suck my stars. This game is a platformer game where you navigate through the tunnel. First, you have to evade black holes in the minefield. Yeah, this is definitely the better way to go. Yeah. I like the black hole part. Of them. And then you have to move on to um, evade wa water and and try not to die. Well, what's really cool about this game is that you used so many particle effects. Like the the whole game was based off particle effects, and I I thought that was really cool. And it's it's some. Um, it, and it, it turned out looking pretty nice. The one thing I think you could have changed a little, little bit was that, well, despite the particle effects looking good, you did, you um, other than that, the solids were, were just black blocks and the background was, was the standard gray color. And I, I understand it's, it's, it's pretty easy to make it look overbearing if you change your graphics, the, the background too much, but I think if you just change it a little bit and made it look a little bit ni nicer, it, it would have been a lot, a lot better for graphics wise. But the gameplay was good, and, and, and I had a lot of fun playing it. So now the moment you've all been waiting for, I'll announce the top three games that were submitted. In third place, Hollow Death by Callum001. You will see two back custom backgrounds made by me. In second place, Aerial Combat by Real Touch GML. You'll receive the two backgrounds, plus you'll see the source code to one of my games. Just um, I'll, I'll message you, and it's, you, you'll only tell me which game you want to have the source code of. In first place is Awesome Face Adventures by Avatar Fanboy 98, and you'll receive the backgrounds, the the source code. You have to tell me which source code you want, and also you'll receive a free copy of Portal 2, which um I'll I'll send you the Steam code later. So those those are all the submissions. I've included the download link in the description to to all of them, or at least all, all the ones that I got permission to to send out, and I hope that you enjoy them as much as I did. We'll see you guys next time.